1974 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham Talisman Edition. It is a real talisman, and I hope that uh, the audio is picking me up over the wind that is blowing here, which is uh, unusually annoying. It's a very straight car. Uh, you have some minor bubbling while where the uh, uh, where the roof meets the quarter panel. The vinyl roof is in pretty good shape. No rips, no discoloring, no tears. All the chrome is in great shape. Everything lines up great. Very unmolested car. All the uh, talisman specific parts are still with the car, which is huge. Uh, you do have a dent in the driver's side door here. It doesn't affect the uh, functionality of the door in any way, but it's still kind of ugly and it should be tended to. And you have uh, you have this spot below the, uh, the roof line here. Uh, it doesn't go through, but uh, it is ugly and you know some of this is just dirt obviously, but uh, you know nonetheless that should uh, that should be tended to because it's ugly. <laughs> Uh, fender skirt still with the car. Uh, quarters are in good shape. Uh, it's really nice overall. We hopping back. You get a world of talisman. All this stuff is just gorgeous. Uh, you know the talisman has these uh, the pull straps, which are you know normally you see on the Series 75 limousines. Uh, the footrests, these fold up or down. Uh, these are the original shag carpet mats. They're still with the car amazingly. Uh, if you ever seen the way these work, it's upholstered inside and it is illuminated as well and then you can also open the front of the console and you have that. 74 was the only year that had the rear console as well as the front console and the talisman. Uh, I have the original keys for these. They do both lock uh, all these little courtesy lights work, which is awesome. The view looking forward from the back, from the executive seat, so to speak. It's a gorgeous interior. And then in the front, we have another console. All this is in perfect shape. The lights still work. And then you can open the front. Now this is really cool. When you open the front, let me do this again. You release that. This pops up and locks into place. You've got uh, a notepad here. And since it locks in place, you can use it while you're driving. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in the daylight, but this is illuminated. And there's a, uh, a monogram plate that's never been used either. Um, so this is really a cool, very costly feature uh, back when the car was new. And then you're done snaps out and you got a uh, beautiful armrest slash console there. Um, I should point out that I do have the original Cadillac uh, crested keys and there's an additional one for the console. Car starts that easily. Uh, I don't know if you can hear this, but heat works, fan blows, all that stuff. The wipers work and park correctly. You go all the way down the uh, power antenna. You can see that work. And then we put that down. I don't know if you can see the. Uh, maybe I'll pull the car inside for that, but all the. Uh, Little um, uh, the fiber optics work. They work in the back too. I don't know if uh, you can kind of see. There you go. If you work with the turn signals, those work as well. And you've got the uh, the way this would work is uh, the turn signal was on. Maybe it's easier to see on that side. Maybe not. Uh, but the turn signal's on. The amber light on the far left works. When the regular lights are on, the low beams are on, the green middle light, and then when the 
high beams are on, uh, the inner light comes on, and it's uh, it's very easy to see at night. But uh, a lot of these have been painted over, and uh, it's very rare to see them still functional and intact. Uh, it's a beautiful car to drive. The uh, original Cadillac horn still works. It's very. Uh, very smooth, very quiet. Uh, the opera lights still work on the outside. Uh, it's snowy as hell here, as you can see, so I don't really want to go too far. But uh, doesn't rattle, doesn't shake. It is a very Cadillac-like experience, and maybe I can uh, open the garage door here, and I'll show you the lights again, because I think they're pretty neat. Travel here into the depths of my parking establishment into a darker area. Well, the other thing we can do is uh, pop the trunk. That works. I'm just going to shut the car down here just for noise because we're indoors here. See that little high beam indicator? Yes, and the annoying buzzer works because I left my lights on. But you can see that those three lights still work. And uh, while we're at it, so does everything else. Little opera lights still work. Trunk's in nice shape, still has its original stickers. All the original. Uh, Carpeting, padding, all that stuff. Please ignore some of my stuff. That's right, it's just stuff. Uh, and the other Cadillac uh, feature that uh, often doesn't work is the pull down on the trunk. So it's not only a power release. How cool is that? Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, that's all I got. I'm going to turn that annoying buzzer off now.